the Fast and Fluid Play of the Week, presented by Windows. Hey everyone, I'm Jason Seguini, and welcome to the Fast and Fluid Play of the Week, presented by Windows. Soccer is a game of little individual plays and decisions that generally add up to one team walking away happy, and the other, well, not so much. In this week's play, it's the pressure of the playoff race affecting one side's decisions and the craftiness and quick thinking of the other side that lead to the game-changing play. You can see here that the Houston Dynamo have a free kick in the attacking end. Now the Dynamo needed to win this game and they were down a goal, so they sent everybody forward. You can see they have every one of their players in the attacking end, and you'll have to trust me that Kofi Sarkodi is up there as well. But because of this, they have a lot of space behind them. Now with DC United, they have all 11 players back, but the key here is this one-man wall by Fabian Espindola. He knows that Brad Davis is going to be going to the far post to these targets, David Horst and Eric Brunner. Those are the danger men for the Dynamo. You can see a little bit better on this angle that Espindola has perfectly aligned himself to block this free kick. Now, you'd say Brad Davis, one of the best free kick takers in MLS, should be able to bend it into the far post. Unfortunately for him though, that is not how this play went. Davis's ball is deflected, and as it's deflected, the key here is a spindola already starting to take that space behind the defense. Now, the work's not done because Sean Franklin needs to win his battle and put the ball out there, but he does just that. Keep an eye here, though, on Corey Ash and Brad Davis. The two players who are going to end up having to defend a spindola, they're ball watching right now while a spindola is taking that space. You can see that gives him just the head start he needs. If we back the play up and take a look at it from the other angle, you'll see how that tiny head start that a spindle got plays a huge role at the end of the play. Now he still has a lot of work to do. He has to outrace the two defenders, and of course he's got to get his head up and look at goal. When he does though, he sees that Tyler Derrick is in no man's land. He's halfway between the attacker and the goal, and he stopped himself. That gives a spindle the chance to loop a ball over to the back of the net. When you're a goalkeeper, you either want to come out all the way hard, or you want to stay back if you think your defender can catch up to him. Now, in this case, I mentioned a spindle had that tiny head start. Watch how close Brad Davis is to deflecting this ball in the end. And there you have it. That head start did it for a spindle, a crafty finish from the Wiley veteran who's led DC United's resurgence in 2014. Dynamo have six in the box. Took a deflection. It's cleared by Franklin. Be careful. La Spindola is on. The Dynamo had nobody back. Both center backs forward. La Spindola takes a look up against Derek. Gets the shot off. It's 2-0 DC. Fabian La Spindola, a one-man show. It's a solo. Thanks for watching the Fast and Fluid Play of the Week presented by Windows. Check back to MLSsoccer.com every week for the next Great Connection.